peace to everybody. Hope everybody all right. Wow. It's definitely hard for me to talk about. It's even harder for me to look down. I ain't talking about none of that perversion stuff. I'm talking about this. Roll a split or two, do what it do. So me and you be high than the giraffe's ass in the Bronx Zoo. I ain't lying. It's an energy. Soon as Shorty put this book in my hand. Energy. Ask the million people that got this book. Was there a certain energy they felt like I'm feeling right now? They put this book in their hand. The reason why I specified that. And I didn't go read this yet. Alright? Got this one shorty yesterday. I had to sit it down. Try to reevaluate everything before I even open this book. Now, first of all, we already know the home slice, the Chris Todd, is the one that made this book, put this book together, and then use a nigga name. You dig? It's like Delray Richardson saying, I ain't never heard of a white dude named Jamal besides House Party 2. Word. And what was that? And there's no disrespect to my motherfucking homeboys, you understand? But straight up, we was talking about how the black people play games with that kind of game. And the name Jamal is white dude playing Jamal. It's like you a wiggle. You dig? No disrespect. None of my people. You dig? Well, but that's how niggas looked at that. You dig? So you was dead ass wrong for fucking trying to use a nigga name. You dig? You was a bitch ass nigga for that shit, Chris Todd. Fuck you. And the only reason why you did that shit, because you knew good and goddamn well that there wasn't nobody going to take that if it was written or said by a white man. Right? Wrong. Wrong. Because you might have to call a million people that felt that way. Said, oh, there's white man on the book. But I guarantee you, you would have had 750,000 of them that could have cared less. Because probably most of the people that bought the book ain't black. Brought to you by. This is White Boy Running Style. Everybody, bump it in face blue, bump it in face shampoo. You can get the Bosco, you can get the 100, you can get the Bosco on Pyro! Which means, if it was shown with that support that you co signed whatever was in the book, will make your people believe the book authenticity even more. That's where the problem lies. The way people think this a lie. Let me tell you something. There's something that's dealing with women. Men, we might use something that's called a journey. And then you got other men that are looking at it like, yo, what are you doing with a diary, boy? There ain't no diary as a jerk. I just keep jerk. Uh, uh, uh. Women, including my daughters, diary is on deck. That shit. Incognito and me, I had to see it by accident. Wish I never did. What? 
All I seen was a book, and I'm like, there's women in the house. I don't know which book it belonged to or whoever. Energy of this book is a hold of something else. And that's a fact. Because I don't go off for all that bullshit that people say out of their mouth. I don't care what you say out your mouth. Go off energy. Period. Energy never lie. to yourself but energy itself is just energy period what to you by oh job day do you need some of this papa chicken oh, shit. come on girl i'll give some of this papa i want y'all to get some papa and you get some papa on five five crib that's what makes it the truth this energy in this book. Period. And I'm going to conclude it with this part before I even start reading this book. They don't take down stuff that's... <laughs> How could I see it? They'll take down something that's true before they take down something that's cat. Why? Because they want us to be misled. Word. So why would they pull a book that's guaranteed to mislead us? Everybody was hooked on it, all the women, all that. Yo, uh, 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 uh. uh. They don't give a Jimmy Crack corn who wrote it. And that's word up. If this shit was wrote by the Ku Klux Klan, it's still gonna look at it. <laughs> Maybe it's deeper than that. And the reason why I specified that because ain't nobody would believe that if it was a book in a diary or the you know, the autobiography of Michael Max, or Roots, you know what I mean? Written by Roger Ebert. You ain't gonna believe that shit. You dig? That's the point I'm making. And that's what made room for people to think the book is kept. Because you wasn't man enough to stand on it, Chris Todd. And you lucky it wasn't me that was interviewing you. Cause all that moving around, shaking and rubbing your leg and playing with your feet. <laughs> it's a second away from me putting my foot in your ass. Even though you're trying to defend yourself and that's why I had to calm myself down like that. Look at the position you put yourself in. Because you was thirsty to put together a book. But you always going to be labeled something. Due to the fact you ain't stand on it with your name and it look racist as fuck trying to use a nigga name that don't exist. You know what I mean? Word. First of all, you know, it was like trying to mix it up not for nothing because ain't no nigga last name Millwood. Word. There's energy in that book. I'm telling y'all, they ain't gonna pull it down if it's cat. The L. Ron Hubbard books are still up. Other books are still up. But then that's supposed to be flipped and based on something true and then made a story. What made that get pulled down? Hmm? 
And nobody's asking about how the family felt about that book being put up. And whether they wanted that book to be put up. How about that? You know, everybody always talking about an individual and things of that nature. Oh, they tragedy. What happened to them? Where they was at? Who they was with? All this other shit. And have zero, and I mean zero, consideration on the family. Who that person belonged to. And then on a different note, that Cassie chick. Born and raised in Comstock? Comstock? You know where up north jails come with the up north COs that live in them up north towns? I ain't gotta say nothing else. <laughs> that whole Cassie thing was a lineup for this to happen from the giddy up. That's why she kept coming back because her handler told her to. Everybody doing they ones and twos. Make better plans, make better moves. Spread love to your family, your crew, your boo. The truth is the only thing I'm attracted to. Hit the like button. Lucky I'm even talking this long. I gotta say this about Kim Porter as well. That was a dangerous move. A very, very, very dangerous move. Using what you knew as a bargaining chip against a dangerous mob, you know? Because the punks be the most dangerous ones. See, you got the tough guy, you got the square, then you got the punks. The punks, oh no, they are not tough, but don't wanna be labeled a square. You know how much safer you would have been, brother love, for you to just stay the square you was, do your little Howard homecoming thing, but that was the problem. Not trying to take that college shit to the industry shit. The way Smack did the group home shit to the industry shit. Hit the unlike button. You're lucky I'm even talking to y'all. I know what's up. I'm the one that was dead. Keep talking to these clowns. Speculating, speculating, speculating. That's why I got the least views, because I got the most truth. <laughs>